here right now, the fourth college football playoff in its senior season. As it were, you would think it would be a little more mature as we go along here in the fourth year of the playoff. Let's see who number one is. The number one team in the country, the reigning national champion, Clemson Tigers. And, and that'll put them in the Sugar Bowl. Yep. And Maybe. Get, They're not uh, revealing yet. It's likely. Yeah, likely. yeah. But you would, yeah. we would assume that'll put them in the Sugar Bowl, which would, talking to Dabo a couple days ago about would you like to go out to the Rose Bowl to avoid potentially if Alabama were there at four. And he said, no, it's closer for our fans. We don't want to have to deal with all that travel, so they would obviously prefer the Sugar Bowl. That's a big deal this year, Joey, I think, unlike well, I mean, some years because it's just one week. It's Monday to Monday. You go cross country, back, have to get ready, and go to the That's Especially in a situation where you might have two SEC teams in these rankings, going to California for an SEC team now becomes an issue with the short rest. I think there are three teams that really had an argument to make to be number one. I think this is the right choice yeah. right here with their yeah. resume and who they beat, the eye test. Exclamation point yesterday. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, exactly. And the fact that, you know, they lost at Syracuse, but they didn't have Kelly Bryant 100%. He didn't play in the second half of the game. I think that's right that Clemson's number one. That's what, you know, we're going to see all of these teams and all of them are really going to have big blemishes. Syracuse didn't win another game yeah. after it beat Clemson. Let's see who number two is just behind the Tigers and making the playoff for the second time, the Big 12 champion, Oklahoma Sooners. Probably the hottest team in America, and if their defense were better, I think they'd be the favorite right now, but we yeah. just don't know if you can count on that defense. Baker Mayfield more than likely is going to win the Heisman Trophy. I think it's the one team that nobody wants to play based no on doubt. what we've seen from that offense. And how about Lincoln Riley in his first year as a head coach? Being able to take the Sooners to a 12 and yeah. one year. And the defense midseason was a huge concern. Not as concerned about this defense now. Got the first touchdown yesterday. Played with a lot more confidence. Now, they're not going to come in and shut people down right. the way a Clemson defense does, the way a Georgia defense does, but they are now no longer a handicap for Oklahoma moving Could forward. make an argument that they're the most dangerous team in this playoff because of Baker Mayfield and the way they score points. And they're peaking right now. Yeah. They're yeah. playing their best football yeah. right now. Although, the, of the four teams here that will make it, three play great defense. I think Oklahoma is the one that you wouldn't say necessarily is great, but they have played their best football in the last four games. These are the top two teams, and I think it's interesting. Clemson at number one, in my judgment, has the best position group in all of college football in their defensive front. Oklahoma has the best complete one side of the ball unit. Yeah. The Oklahoma mm -hmm. offense is the most dominant in college football. Clemson one. Oklahoma two. Let's see who the Sooners will play in the national semifinal. We assume it's going to be Georgia, and it is. How about Georgia? Hasn't won a national championship since Herschel Walker in 1980. They have an opportunity to be one step away from that in the game against the Sooners. And how impressive was the adjustments by Georgia in the yes. game against Auburn? Yes. How impressive to go from getting dominated against a Auburn team looking like physically they couldn't hang, they make adjustments, Jake Fromm looked like he didn't recognize the Jake Fromm from the first time <laughs> around. They ran the sweep. So smart to not go against the front four of Auburn in between the tackles, spread them out, go wide. They were very impressive yesterday. They also got out Jordan Hare. That, 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 yeah. helped. Yeah. that helped in that game in a neutral site, and Jake Fromm played much better. I think avenging their one loss on the year is a big deal because if you're Georgia now, you can say we beat everybody we played this season. And from an eye test standpoint, guys, very, very balanced, right? Dominant defense, deepest group of running backs By the way, in the country. Heck of a game. Oklahoma, Georgia. That'll be fun. And the second consecutive year that we've had a freshman quarterback lead a team into the college football playoff. Jalen Hurts, now Jake Fromm. You're an 18-year-old kid out there, man. You got he Jay, practiced. Jay, you got Jay, Jalen, practiced. Jalen, <laughs> Jalen Hurts did that and then came into the spring. They're talking about benching him. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, and how about this too? Lincoln Riley's made the comments. We didn't have much trouble scoring against SEC defense wow. last year when they took on Auburn. Here, here we go. Uh, Oklahoma's seen nothing like the Georgia defense, and Georgia's seen nothing like the Oklahoma mm. offense. How much fun mm. is that? It's going to be. Can we get a drum roll fun. before number four comes out? Can what we get we're a... going to do is show you. We're going to show you the comparison here. This is an <laughs> analytics comparison. It takes uh... away the thing that Booger has been talking about and just evaluating the tape. USC clearly has a strength of schedule. For a reminder, strength of record, that's SOR at the top. That means how well you have fared against your schedule relative to how the average top 25 team should. FBI top 40, all fairly similar. Alabama's the only non-conference champion. This is your last shot at it. I'm gonna ask it this way, not what you predict, who should be in that four spot? I think I think I, I already said it. I already yeah. said I think it should be Alabama. Alabama. Ohio State, better wins. Ohio State. We're, we got a split. 
Two that's who we think we should. We, we, Imagine uh, the committee uh, room. Reese could be the tiebreaker. Reese could be the tiebreaker. I, 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 voted, I, voted, I voted in the – Pollock said Alabama. I voted in the AP poll this morning, and I had Alabama 4, Ohio State 5. So, we'll see. Number four and going to the playoff to face Clemson will be – the Alabama Crimson Tide <laughs> for the fourth straight year. Is there, is there somebody missing Herb Street. Hey, no, come on, come on. Herbie. The set. Herbie, come back. I, I cannot. We, we I know, have a first the, time that two teams from the same conference are going to the playoff. Alabama's been in every playoff now, and we get Clemson, Alabama, part three. What that tells me. As we look at the rest, Ohio five, State Ohio finishes State. at number five and number six. Go ahead and finish it is Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. So you have two Big Ten teams finishing just on the outside, and that's how the top six look.